Hey guys, welcome back to The Right Side of Dark Energy, a universal construct. Today I'm going to present to you another article. I'm just going to present this single article as is. Now this is going to be a reading of the article with some basic graphics, no real explanation or deeper dive into the meaning of what I'm trying to say. The reason why I'm going to be making this a very concise presentation is because I have a lot of articles that I want to read aloud and to document in video format. And if I spend the time and energy to add the graphics and explanations to every single video presentation that I want to make, it's going to take a long time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together as many of these video articles together as I can, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to elaborate on the, the ones that I feel need to be elaborated on and throw in the different video graphic presentation. So as I'm talking, there'll be some images explaining what I'm talking about to give you some visual representation to add to the context and meaning. But for now, I'm just going to do this video presentation. I'm going to give you my article with some basic graphics. I'm going to let you digest that, take it for what it is, figure out what it means for yourself. And then as I said, later on down the line, I'm going to come back to some of the articles that I feel really need to be looked at with more detail and dive into the explanation and meaning behind some of the articles. I will definitely do that. But for now, I'm just going to do a concise presentation of the original article as written with some basic graphics. So with that said, here we're going to read the first article for today that I'm going to be doing is the tree of life is a lost concept. Okay. So here we go. The tree of life is a lost concept. When people did not understand the structure of atoms, there was no way to really explain to people that there are different elements and they are atoms and the structure of the atoms are different for the different elements. Gold is the life-giving element or atom element that is responsible for the soul energy or spirit energy that ultimately emanates throughout all life. That is why the golden ratio is called the ratio of life. Gold compresses at the core of the planet along with many other extremely dense and radioactive elements to create a naturally occurring crystal core quantum computer. And it's the gold element that creates life. Your soul, my soul, our soul is all at the heart of the planet. The soul spelled S O L and soul spelled S O U L soul and soul are the same word, but have been aberrated. When you think of the sun as in soul, the sun is a celestial object, just like all the other objects in the universe, from the planets, moons, protoplanets, stars, and even black holes. These are all naturally occurring crystal core quantum computers, and through cymatics, they are able to stabilize their environments, their surface, and actually vibrate life into existence. And with life's eonic journey of evolution and life cycles, life is efficiency. Life is efficient at growing. The physical mass that life produces... Life's remains, if you will, life actually builds the core and all life eventually compresses into the core and life leads to gold. Now you know. OMG. All right, so that's the presentation that I'm doing today. The tree of life is a lost concept. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to give me a like and a thumbs up. If you like this type of content, you can also feel free to subscribe. I will be putting together a lot more video presentations that I think you will be very intrigued with. Thanks for watching.